Good morning and welcome to the Feeding House Ministry, a teaching ministry that's interested in your soul and your eternal destination. We thank you for joining us this wonderful, beautiful morning the Lord has blessed us with. Today we're going to talk about background and training and research. The action or process of making ready or being made ready for use or consideration. All of this, all of this, as true and genuine believers, look forward to and try to do as the Lord continues to strengthen us in His preparation for His use. This life is not intended to be a place of perfection, of our perfection, but the preparation for it. A season of silence is best preparation for speech with God. Just as the nine months you spent in your mother's womb weren't an end in themselves, but preparation for life. So this life is preparation for the next. One of the keys to having a vital encounter with God on Sunday morning is proper preparation the days before. Just as rest is preparation for renewal, death is preparation for resurrection. We can have a fresh vision of God's greatness and love, plus a renewed desire to do His will if we prepare properly, if we make proper preparation for worship. And to take with us this week, prayer is the preface of the book of Christian living, the text of the new life sermon, the girding on of the armor of God, the pilgrim's preparation for his journey. It must be accomplished by action or it amounts to nothing. Spiritual preparation is an act of faith. Eating the Passover feast while dressed for travel was a sign of the Hebrews' faith. Although they were not yet free, they were to prepare themselves, for God had said that he would lead them out of Egypt. Their preparation was an act of faith. Being prepared for the fulfillment of God's promises, however unlikely they may seem to us, demonstrates our act of faith. Spiritual preparation is commanded by God. Jesus' purpose for telling about his return was not to stimulate predictions and calculations about the date, but to warn us to be prepared. Will you be ready? The only safe choice is to obey him today. Jesus asked us to spend time, the time waiting, taking care of his people, true believers, and doing his work here on earth, both within the church and outside of it. This is the best way to prepare for Christ's return. Knowing that Christ's return will be sudden and unexpected should motivate us to be prepared. We're not to live irresponsibly, sitting around and just waiting, doing nothing, seeking self-serving pleasure, using his tearing as an excuse not to do God's work of building of his kingdom, developing a false sense of security based on precise calculations of events, or letting our curiosity about the end time divert us from doing God's work. It's doubtful we'll know God very well, or become the person he wants us to be, unless we put forth an effort into developing our relationship with him. In precise moments of prayer and reflection, we have the opportunity to calmly dwell on the Word as we focus on an intimate relationship with our Heavenly Father. 
These are occasions for strengthening our faith, growing in love for Christ, and laying down a solid foundation in the Word. All of this is good preparation for whatever troubles may come our way. Planning for the life to come can't begin at the time of our death. Each of us prepares our heart by accepting the gift of salvation made possible by Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. Preparation is an ongoing process. Start today and God will give you the strength to continue. Amen.